Alrighty, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Dank, coming to you live from Mayfield. And in this video, we're going to close out the week on this Friday, making sure that we turn in uh, this warm up with your name and everything filled out. But just like yesterday, we're going to solve the following equation and you're going to set it up like you normally do, but also you want to make sure you can draw that model. So let's do uh, the first step here. So it says solve the following equation and it has x minus 3 equals 5. So again, you can uh, draw those railroad tracks or the uh, river down the middle, whatever you want to call it. Again, just trying to show that, hey, that equal sign has to stay throughout the entire problem. So you want to make sure that you're balancing this equation. You want to always do the inverse operations. And so since it has a negative 3 or a minus 3, you want to make sure you do the opposite. So we add the opposite. So we're going to add a positive 3 to both sides. Again, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Otherwise, it becomes unbalanced. And so on the left side, again, the 3s cancel out. Again, we had three negatives and three positives. Those cancel out. And so what are we left with? Well, we're just left with the x. And then on the right side, we're left with that equals 8. So pretty straightforward. Again, just one step. Notice how that inverse operation is in red. Now, if we wanted to do the model for this, again, you want to make sure you can... Uh, same idea. Let's draw... Let's maybe draw this line down the middle. That way we can kind of break apart uh, our mat here. And we're going to say, all right, right in the center is an equal sign. Very perfectly drawn. And what do we have on that left side? Well, we have one positive x, and then we have three negatives. Again, using that key that is there provided for you. Uh, again, I, I kind of use the shaded ones for this one. That way you can kind of do it with me as well. So again, I have three negatives. And then on the right side of the equal sign, notice how there's a break in the middle. I have how many? I have five positives. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So now let's kind of show what we did here. Well, we added opposites because, again, you can kind of think of these negatives. It's like a hole in the ground, right? You you have a, a hole in the sand or a hole in the dirt, what's the only way to fill that hole? You have to add what was taken out. So you have to add the opposite to both sides. So I'm gonna add three positives to the left, and I'm gonna add three positives to the right. And three. All right, so now, what does this look like? Well, actually, let's take one away. Uh, what does this look like? You have to make sure that you combine like terms. So there's no other x's to combine with, so the x stays the same. And then we notice, hey, we can make some zero pairs with these, right? For, at, for each negative x, or excuse me, for each uh, negative 1 and each positive 1, again, those cancel out. So I'm going to take these two. I'm going to take those out. Is, again, this is a zero pair, so they cancel out. These cancel out, and these cancel out. And so you're trying to simplify so that way uh, any kind of zero pairs are canceled out, and you have a nice clean answer. So again, you should have x and then equals, and let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure it's all filled in and turn it in. 